Hey, hello, it's Dr. Abstract, and we're back with demos in the Zim Editor. Well, let's go to the Zim site now at zimjs.com. Zim is a JavaScript Canvas framework for coding creativity. Ooh, how exciting. There's a link to the editor. Here's a lot of things that we can make. Wah. And um, recently, we've added a Zim Editor. So we're in the process of moving over a lot of files into the editor. Here is a link to feature demos. So these are some of the things that we're demoing uh, as features of Zim in the editor. So that's exciting. Maybe we can go through those as well. We just happen to be working in the editor. Here's how to get to the editor right here. We happen to be working in the editor and I wanted to show you um, a little way around with these lists. So you can log into the editor up here. I'm already logged in, so that would let me log out. And when I log in, I have uh, a set of files here. So this is me making a new file, but I can also load a variety of files. These are the files uh, that I have so far and I can load them in and take a look at them. Anyway, I don't want to do that. Under the zaps is a list of the various files that you'll see. So you'll see the features. There are those features. Uh, zaps are what we call Zim apps in a sense. And then we've got a bunch of basic features, uh, or sorry, basic zaps, some mid-level zaps, some advanced zaps, and more full zaps, which often come from CodePen. And intermixed are the zip bits. And if you've done, if you've been in Zim before, let's just open up in a new window, I guess here. So this is back to Zim. Under the examples right here, we don't, we haven't moved over all of the examples into the editor. I don't know if we ever will. Uh, but one of the things under the examples is collections. And maybe these are like the little mini sites that we've done for particles and physics and the generator. And maybe we'll go in next and start moving some of these collections into the editor. What we're working on right now is Zimbits. And Zimbits, there's 64 of them, had this format. And this was one of the first things, one of the first little mini sites that we made in Zim. You can press on that and see pictures of all of those little mini sites. And this is something good. We've got a co-op student. This is something good that the co-op student can do is move over these bits into the editor. Um, they're kind of up to date. There are a few versions of Zim behind. Um, so we're updating them as we go as well. And it'd be nice to have them in the editor. Right now, when you click on it, you get an example of those shapes. And then you can take a look at the code behind it. And here's the code. Well, it would be nice if this were in the editor and you could just start typing and changing things uh, right in the editor. So that's what we're working on. Um, and some of you may already know those bits. And you might be looking at it and going, OK, well, the bits are all kind of, I don't know, they're sort of grouped in here in different places. There's a bit right here, the ticker to follow a mouse. It just happened to be as we were adding them, we put them in place. So if you um, wanted a list of them, and we considered doing this, so there's the advanced. I'm going to collapse these so you can kind of see, actually, let's collapse all of them. Uh, hide all, and then I'll open the demos, and that's the demo bars collapsed now. Note that we don't have one for bits. Oh, we considered doing that just like we have one for full, advanced, mid, basics. And features. <laughs> Clicking is not all that, all that good in a moment. Okay, there we go. We, so we have uh, lists of those, but here I want to show you a trick. If we go into search here, <clears throat> we can type in bits. And as soon as we do, oh, it collapsed all of them. That means my results bar is collapsed as well. So I'm opening up my collapsed or my results bar. So there's how many we have in so far 37 of them. And this happens to be the current one that I happen to be looking at. So if we take a look, uh, dynamic easing, oh, there's dynamic easing. We go back to zaps and grids with guides and GUIs, um, passing parameters or objects, pages with arrows. We just did that one. Chica, 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 chica. Okay, or you can swipe. So those are the bits. Uh, in other words, hey, great, you can just find them that way. But we do have as well um, these things called lists. So once again, I'm logged in, which allows me to keep track of my own files. Um, but here, what we're going to do is copy the bits like that. 
and now I can copy it to my own list and I will call it bits like that and note that they're all the names of the bits and we could reorganize that if we wanted to and I hit save. Now under saved here, uh, let's see there's the files, um, lists, okay so that's sorry that's not lists. So saved is anything that I happen to hit the plus sign on and save plus my own files. So here under saved we have my own files. So you would have your own files in there as well. Okay, but we want to look under lists and then I have, uh, these are my lists that I made, one for art, one for badges, one for basics, and here's my new bits one. Wow, take a look at that. So I now have my own list called bits that I can use and take a look at at any time that I want. And if I wanted to see some drawing with blitting. Uh, can you imagine when that might be handy? If you have these lists and look, I got a share. So if I were an educator, I could take these, any samples that I want or any samples that I make and add them to a list for a certain class, etc., and then show the class that list or share it with the class as well. So um, this is a pretty amazing educational tool. And in here we were, we were testing, um, let's see, so what, do I have an example? This is an example of adding a bit of HTML in there to various lists. I think I had other ones too that we were working through, uh, organized. Uh, yeah, so here we have ones that are organized now. So I'm collapsing sections and showing sections. And if we take uh, an edit or a look in there, we can see how we did it. We added details, so we can add HTML work. We've added um, a details. I've said that this one will be open. The summary for that one is art. And then there's a list of art ones. If you use a negative sign in front, it won't show that one. So if we opened up art here, I'll only have two Oh, let's see. Oh, it didn't. Sh sorry, it shows it, but it's deactivated like that. So um, that's if you, don't, if you don't want to see it, I guess you take it out. There might be a, actually a way to comment that as well. So there's us exploring some of the uh, working with HTML in here. And uh, that's kind of neat, huh? You like that? So it's a big world and you can look at the guide here. The guide will also tell you how to work with lists. So there's a guide and how to share lists and different uh, URLs that we can do. Uh, the other thing is you can actually share lists in different ways. One way is they're able to copy the code from the list into the editor. The editor is over on this side right here. So anytime you find something like art with amazing circles and I go take a look at the code here, I can copy that over onto this side. Well, you can share lists where it's called, uh, there's, there's teach and there's learn and learn won't let you copy it. You've got to actually, you can only look at it and type it basically over here. So there's a couple different ways that you can share lists. Um, okay, so I am Dr. Abstract. We have been taking a look at the lists in the editor and uh, the plan for this series is to just yeah, take a look at various Zim things in the Zim editor, talk a, a bit more about how to f save files and move things over. But there was already an earlier one. So if you missed that, if you missed that on the demos in Zim editor, then go take a look. And if you've come in and time has gone by, there may be all sorts of demos in the editor. Who knows? It's easy to sign up, and we'd love to see you at zimjs.com slash slack, zimjs.com slash discord. We can answer any questions there. Cheers.